Hey guys, quick video today. Um, I'm in my parents' basement I'm diagnosing and I'm replacing an Amana um, igniter on the gas furnace. Um, so here's the two owners' manuals, um, kind of generic uh, cross models. So to help you identify which one you actually need, which model you actually have, I'm gonna walk over. So here we have the furnace. Um, I have the front cover removed. There's just two little plastic uh, clips. You just twist them and pop them out of the rivet holes. And then on, on my parents model, the information is actually tucked up into here on this plate. And then back there is actually the whole service model. So that's how you identify which uh, you have based on those generic manuals. So we'll go down here too. Um, so the first couple things you want to do is again, um, turn off the power to the unit. So uh, there's the main power. And then on this model, it uses an electric igniter. So there's no uh, natural gas igniter for the flame. So there is the igniter there. So just make sure you flip out to off. And then here is the, the flame box or the ignition box. Um, so to take this off, there are four uh, Phillips head screws. One, two, and there's one more up under here. And here's the fourth one. And the fourth one is actually connected to a ground strap. So I'll just keep in mind, be mindful of the fourth screw. And also on here too, you can also take a peek too, and you can see an expiction window. There's the uh, the power and the ground for the ignition, so you can also just check in there too, see what's going on. All right, so we took the box off, and I already did a little diagnosis, and this is somebody to figure out what's going on. So here is the power and ground, a quick connect. Here is the other quick connect to the igniter, and the igniter is on a plate. So there's two flathead screws that connects the igniter to a, to the plate. Go ahead and take those two off, and we will remove the igniter here. And so there's the igniter, and you see the igniter is connected to this plate too, again with another Phillips head screw there. And a close inspection of our, this igniter, if I can get the camera to focus, you'll see it's cracked. And I can actually move that around too, so I think that's why our igniter is broken. So just go ahead and pop that screw off, order your new unit, and just um, reassemble it. It's just the reverse of everything. Um, a couple quick notes too is when you get the new one, they do say not to touch the, the igniter itself. It's kind of a silicone carbon uh, material, and your oils on your hand can actually ruin it. So just be cautious on that. But again, um, assembly will just be the reversal of everything. I'm, I'm going to leave this loosely there because I'm still waiting on the part to come in. Um, just quickly diagnosed it and figured out what was going on. So again, just pop that on, the two screws, reconnect, put your plate back on, four screws all the way around. The bottom one, again, has the ground strap. Um, turn your electric ignition on, put your cover on, and then your main control, your main power, and then um, just follow the reset procedures on your furnace and then your thermostat and give it a test. Alright, thanks guys. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Um, I'll make him just tell my dad out if he needs the uh, directions to re redo and reset up his furnace. Alright, thanks guys. Leave uh, comments and questions below. I will leave a link to the actual ignition part. Um, if you anybody needs help with this, you can order it off of Amazon. Alright guys.